a new high again when it comes to the number of people in the hospital because of COVID-19. But Dr. Mandy Cohen says the state is not at a crisis point. Our Capitol reporter Michael Hyland is live at the General Assembly. And Michael, she told lawmakers today she's still concerned about the direction things are going. Right. She said at this point the hospitals do have enough capacity, but she says you would have to act to prevent them from getting overwhelmed two to three weeks before it actually gets to that point. She gave an update this morning to the House Health Committee here at the General Assembly. Governor Roy Cooper says he'll make a decision early next week about moving into the next phase of reopening. Today, the state reached a new high of 846 people in the hospital due to COVID-19. Mandy Cohen was asked today what is the trigger point that the state would have to make changes to make sure the hospitals do still have capacity. She said there's not a precise answer to that, but said this. The question is, what is that balance point? I'm, you're not hearing me say that today we need to go backwards or just stay at home or we're at a crisis point. And, and again, I check in with the hospital to make sure of that. Um, but I, I think we need to be very careful because I think that that we we don't know how quickly we can get to that point. And I think that's what we're trying to figure out. Governor Roy Cooper is also considering new statewide mandates on wearing masks. He's getting pushback from some people who think that should remain a recommendation and not a requirement. Dr. Cohen says more research is showing that masks do help in preventing from people from spreading the virus. She says they are not perfect, but they do lower the risk. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.